Hey, I figured I should show you how to cook with some of this stuff. All right, so my birthday is coming up and I want some really easy breakfast solutions and I wanted to test out that I can actually cook from my food storage. So I'm gonna be doing scrambled eggs made from my food storage. This is my first try from Thrive Life's meat and protein section. No additives in this, just eggs. Two tablespoons is equivalent to one raw egg and I'm doing eight eggs for my family. All right, this is what we get for fancy camera work. I'm on my knees trying to show you how this works. So what I'm gonna do is add my peppers and my spinach uh, and salt and pepper and see how it tastes. You can add whatever you'd like, onions, mushrooms, there's plenty of options. I used a cup of spinach and a cup of red peppers. Eggs are an easy place to add lots of veggies for me and my kids. I was trying to cook solely from food storage items, so I didn't use any butter. I just added the water. The ratios are printed on the back of each can. I pre-measured to make it easier. I was surprised how quickly everything reconstituted. Keep in mind that the freeze-dried food and family and pantry cans have a 25-year shelf life and are made of solely whole ingredients. So if you were ever needing to rely on your food storage, you could easily whip up scrambled eggs. Ta-da! All right, so I've got my plate of scrambled eggs and here goes my first taste test of cooked, rehydrated food. Oh, a little hot. <laughs> Too hot. Oh my gosh. I burnt every part of my mouth. <laughs> Well, it definitely has the consistency of scrambled eggs. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference if this was made from rehydrated stuff. Really have blow on this. I don't want to burn my mouth off again. It's really good. I can't tell at all that this is from a can. At all. The red peppers are sweet. It's all really good. All right, so an easy camping solution, first thing in the morning solution, tastes pretty good. All right, have a great day.